As you can tell, it's a 2000 Yukon and she has a 5.7 drop right now. So to get the 5.7 inch drop in the front, I did end up using D DJM control arms, upper and lower control arms. And also those were three inch lowering control arms and then uh, drop spindles from McCoy's. Those did an additional two inch and that gave it the five in the front and the rear. I used the uh, NorCal SS uh, lowering springs. They're six inch drop springs, but also without using the isolators, that gives you an additional drop. And then also do have a big system on this truck. It's, it's got 415 switch with all that weight, drops at another inch and everything. So pretty much like complete 5.7. And it still rides really good. Those, those springs are low, but they're really smooth, like factory to me. I've had some other ones that are real bouncy like with a five inch drop and they weren't as comfortable as these but these you can go fast and they, they're smooth they are 26 inch ltz replicas the tires are 295 in the front 295 30 26 and the rear is 305 30 26 and it rides pretty good i do have to tub the front because it is pretty low but it i mean it's it's manageable i can drive with it like that and the back doesn't rub at all or anything like that in the front i did have to remove the windshield reservoir for the like water on the windshield anything like that because when you turn it doesn't give you that clear so you can tell it's not in here no more so that's the, the wheels right there in the front it, it's a regular yukon i did at the front denali bumper and also a hd cal hood I just put like clear headlights. So it's a Denali bottom bumper, the Denali grill, and I blacked out the middle part of the grill and also the emblem. So those are factory, they're just color matched to the truck, which makes it look better to me. And then the cow hood, like I said, is a HD cow hood. And they're it's made out of steel, I guess both of the pieces they were welded together. Also in the bottom, I did add the four inch LED fog lights. You can see them right here. They're all LED and they fit right in. They're made for this bumper, so you can find them online like Amazon, stuff like that. Also the headlights, they're just clear. And then the top is wrapped with black uh, gloss. Like it's a wrap, vinyl wrap. Cause I wanted it more like a cleaner look. Also it gives it look like a like it's lower, I guess, because it's smoother and makes it look way lower. As you can see right here, without the roof rack. I also have the roof rack, I have the Escalade one, but I removed it for now. On the rear, it does have the Escalade vent caps. Color mesh right here on the pillars, as you can tell. And I also added some LEDs inside. You can see them at night, you can't really see them right now. Side right here I can show you real quick you can probably see the 15s right here there are uh, four kicker CVX 15s and I got a couple others in the back and tweeters all up in the back right now also and that's the dash right here on the bottom I, I just wrapped a little bit because the seats were damaged but basically the upholstery is pretty much stock for the most part and I added the center console, I kind of made it like, so you can see it. And just had it wrapped. Um, the dash, I did change the steering wheel to a grant wood, wood grain steering wheel and a Escalade cluster again, like on my Silverado. And then the chrome shifter. It's got a Pioneer in-dash uh, radio. It's, a, it's actually a really good radio, it's a ADPRS, which is like really good for sound quality and on the top as you can see right here it's got the epicenter it's a dash epicenter some of them go under the seat and all that but on this one i wanted to do it up here because i like my system loud and, and controlling and everything and that's the bottom right here i do have speakers on the kick panels there's car audio speakers and then uh i did some door pods 
with eight inch and some bullet tweeters, as you can see right here. I'll be redoing all this later on. That's some tweeters right there also. And it also has the mirror, like kind of like the Silverado where you can back up and see all that stuff on the screen. But this one's not a dash cam, it's just a reverse cam. And then uh, right here, I did also do suede on the headliner and the visors. I have to wrap them individually also. Cause it's got like two pieces. And right here in the middle, I did have to as you can see, there's wood because of the, the subwoofers are loud, so they dropped that metal console piece, and I just I had to re like brace it, and I have wood under there. I'm gonna make a console on top, so I haven't had any time, but that's how it looks right now. And that's the 15s again. And over here is again the driver door with the other door pod. Like I said, it's an eight inch with a bullet tweeter pretty much it and the back they're just stock you can't really see them i mean there's no door pod but the speakers are at the market and i do have some on the bottom right here and then on the other side you can see right there it's a whole bunch of speakers in here it's, like this truck I, I have it uh pretty loud so i'll probably demo it for you right now in a little bit so I'll show you the subs right back here. It's a pretty big box. It's a, like I said, 415s, kicker CBXs. They sound really good. Later on, I'll be changing them out, but for now, I mean, they sound really good, so I don't have no issues with them or anything like that. And this is the port that I made for it in the box. And I'll go ahead and, uh, play the system in a little bit so you guys can check it out and let me know what you think but before that let me uh show you under the hood like how it looks like right now it's not camped or anything like that it does have uh some moss on it it has a uh, long tube headers they're by by pace sitter so this is the engine right here it's a 5.3 also. And just like on the Silverado, I also did upgrade all the wiring and stuff, but except this one is like way more done cause it's got a bigger system. So it's got the excess power here, battery. And then I also have a second battery running with those wires right over here. And I did move my air intake from, from this location to the middle, just like the Silverado. I just had to extend the wires and stuff, but it's pretty simple. Like I said, this one does have, as you can tell, two alternators for the system and all my electrical things, the stock location and then a bracket to add the secondary one. So yeah, the, the right one is a DC power uh, and it's like a 370 amp alternator. And then the left one is the stock alternator right now because I had a Mechman that was like a 250 amp, but it had got damaged, it was older. And I just put this one back, but it's, it's good for now because I mean, it's two of them and I got both batteries, all that stuff, which is, good enough for temporary also it's got the electric fans and I removed the old clutch fan like I said earlier I mean it's just a 5.3 with long tube headers third pace header and it has no cam or anything like that it does have a tune uh, by Blackberry performance later on I'll be changing it and stuff but for now I'll just be leaving it alone uh, that's pretty much it I mean I'll go ahead and show you guys the, the system in a little bit just to see or to show you what it sounds like, stuff like that. And the alarm, what I did, I did add a Viper system on it previously and then um, I added a voice module to it because I had it laying around and it was my cousin's but he never ended up using it. Um, I did modify it. It does have the regular Viper settings but I can also make it do like transformer sounds and stuff like that. And I'll just show you real quick. Also, I can change it, but I just left it alone. At one point, I had the Transformers logos on it and all that stuff, but I just took them off and I left it alone. But I'll let you guys check it out real quick. So let's say whenever you unlock it, it'll Viper, be like that. Disarm. And then lock. 
Viper arm. And then, like I said, whenever the alarm goes off or anything like that, or different things, it'll it'll like do transformers. So check it out. make it talk and stuff like that like different things pretty much like a microphone i can do any sound or soundboard anything like this it's actually pretty funny when people like hear it and stuff they'll be like looking around and stuff but that's that's it for that like i said let me show you the system real quick hold on all right i'll go ahead and test out the system real quick um it, it might get distorted because this this microphone might not pick up as well all the bass notes so because it gets pretty loud but i'll let you guys just check it out and see if i can get some of the flexing on camera so here we go also let me know what you guys think and comment subscribe all that good stuff i'll see if i can start with the with the mids and highs real quick and then uh like go a little bit up on the base the base knob is right here and then this is the epicenter right here i won't be using the epicenter on on this uh demo so i'll just leave it at that because i think these rap songs have a lot of bass already it's more for like the spanish songs but I'll try it out real quick Real nigga shit, man. I'm a guy. I keep being up with the sun. 